Hi guys, Sandy Bell with my fairy treasures. Okay, so I'm sure you guys are seeing everything and you are. Okay, what I want to come at you guys today is is just um, a color with me and Dollar Tree coloring book page. And I've been talking about this for a while and people keep saying, color, color, color. And I'm like, okay, so I need to do that. I don't just color, it's mixed media. I use watercolor, acrylic paint, um, Posca pens, I, um, colored pencils. I use a lot of different stuff. And I'll explain my supplies that I'm using as I'm using them. Because I don't want to go over all the supplies I'm using because then I'll spend my video doing that. So this is the picture that we're going to do, you guys. And um, I hope you guys like how it turned out. I was really happy with how it turned out. And, um, and I have to work the way that if you were sitting across from me is how I have to work for right now. Because uh, that YouTube editor... I learned how to use that finally, and I got pretty good at that. And then, yeah, YouTube editor's gone, so I have to learn a whole new editing system. So I will turn things around per periodically so you can see it from the other way. Anyway, um, where I got this picture from was from this, this Dollar Tree coloring book. You guys, this Dollar Tree coloring book is fabulous if you can get your hands on it. It's called uh, Etchings? Oh, Etchings, Vintage... Uh, lifestyle drawings and you guys look at these drawings are so cool in here it's not the thickest coloring book or the pages aren't the best as far as like how thin the pages are they're kind of thin make copies of them no big deal and it's not the um thickest coloring book but the pictures are fabulous it's like people's drawings love this picture of the roses uh everything i probably will be coloring those soon I love this right here. I'll probably be doing that one soon, too. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the pictures of or the book of where I got a lot of, where I got this picture from. Okay, so this is a great coloring book. You guys be looking for this at Dollar Tree. So this is a Dollar Tree coloring book. Okay, so this is what we're going to be going for. I'm going to make it, I'm, oh, this is what I'm going to do. Let me slow down. I don't have time, in even an hour, to do this whole page, because this took me way longer than an hour. But I can go through and show you different parts of how I did this so that if you like any of the techniques I'm doing, you can use some of the same techniques or incorporate certain things in your coloring or just be entertained for a minute and watch. <laughs> However you want to do it. Okay, so this is what we're going to go for. Okay? And I'll show you how I, like, I'll show you how I did, how I colored and shaded the, the suitcases, how I did the water, how I did the sky, how I did the water. So I'll do little samples of how I did everything. Okay? So it won't be a complete beginning to end, but you'll know the different techniques I use. So to begin with, um, I used Jane Davenport's watercolors, and I'm using her pencils along with Prismacolor pencils. So let's open up my little pack here and get started. Okay, um, I already water. Okay, this is this is watercolor base, which is what I like to do, and I already watercolor based um, the pink one, the turquoise. I'm gonna watercolor base this down here, the uh, purple one, and um, good one. Um, I'm trying to think what I'm trying to say. Oh, that's what I was going to say. The reason that I um, watercolor base, for one, it makes it so much easier. I use the lightest color, so that it'd be my highlight color of the page or the drawing that I'm doing and then um, it also gives a good tooth to be able to go in and use pencils uh, like Prismacolor pencils or the Jane or the Jane Davenport pencils which I use those and the Prismacolor pencils um, it gives a good tooth and you don't have to work as hard now because now I have this base layer down that I get to put over darker colors over like my darkest shade, my medium shade, and this is my lightest shade going on right now. So that's really cool to create yourself this base. It covers so many different things, like I just mentioned. And if I'm, if you're confused by what I'm saying, don't worry. It'll be clear as we keep going on. Now, I'm not um, going over the um, metal parts here because those are going to be done in... Um, those are going to be done in, um, make, made to look like they're gold. And here are the straps that made to look like they're leather. So I'll show you guys that too. So I just think there's a lot of good, uh, like little lessons or techniques 
that I'm going to show you that I've learned um, in this piece. Okay, so that's, isn't that quick and easy? Just real quick, use some watercolor. Really quick, let me talk about this. These Jane Davenport's, if you use a coupon, um, oh, I'm using the Brights palette for these suitcases. And then they got the neutral palette, which is this one. These are kind of expensive. They're like 40 bucks. But use the 50, at least you can get it for $20. One more watercolor idea for watercolors. You can get this. I do not know the damn name of this. God, I wish I knew the name of it. Anyway, if I can find it here before the end of this thing, I'll show you, tell you guys. Oh, I think this is it here. I believe this is Master's Touch. Yes, Master's Touch is what this one is called, I believe, you guys. And this is what it looks like. But look at all the colors you get. And this is like, I don't know, $12 or $14. But with a coupon, you're only spending 7 bucks on this. And look at all the colors you get. I've used the hell out of this. I love this. I still use it all the time. There's so much good colors. And they're not expensive, but they're nice quality, and they don't get chalky. So... Wanted to let you know that, so there's another deal. So if you don't even want to spend 20 bucks, you can spend 7 bucks, Master's Touch, and get a great deal. And that's at Hobby Lobby. So, okay. So, from here, I want to do some shading. Okay? So, all the shading that's done in here. And, um, well, we let that purple one. I want to do some pur uh, shading on the purple one, too, because I want to show you that I have some cool colors for that. But, for this one at the top, all I'm going to do to shade it is use this uh, Davenport pink. I don't know what it's called. Let me put on my little pink glasses. Aren't these cute? Dollar Tree! Okay. I'm like a Dollar Tree addict. You know, let me come in a little bit closer. Um, so you guys are seeing. Make sure you guys are really on top of this. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So, to shade this, uh, just one second. I just want to get this out. Okay. There we go. To shade this, I'm using this pink. It's Jane Davenport Pixie, which I love that. And she calls these like little wands. So I like to call them fairy wands. I think she calls them something else. But I like, she calls them wands. So she calls her pencils her wands. This is a Blick Studio blender. And I love a blender pencil. Okay. So you come over here. I've already started shading this. Okay. So I'm just going to come in with a lot of good shading right here. And come across and try not to bear down too much just kind of give it light nice light strokes you'll be able to blend it out a lot easier if you do that now by using a blender for one you blend it and it makes and it just blends everything smoothly but it also blends out to the next lightest shade that's why I also like this so there's another between here and here there's another shade of pink well, I don't have to go find another shade of pink because this is going to blend it out. See? So it blends it out. So I don't even have to if I don't want to. And if you start on colors, you can have the lightest color and the darkest color and use a blender pencil and blend that out to the next lighter shade. Uh, it kind of perturbing me because the ink is kind of blending out too, the black ink, but it's fine. Okay, so we're going to keep going. Okay. And then take your blender pencil, blend out. So I'm also going to show you with, um, you can still use, you'll still use your blender pencil, but I'm going to show you using the darkest and then mid-tone shade of uh, pencil too. But I'm just showing you another way of doing it. Okay? Does that look good? See how it's really bringing this suitcase out? Uh, love it. Okay. And I'll tell you something that I did wrong on this page is because I, and I, because I, I was using this as a practice, I went over my, um, all my hardware, which, and I did that here too, which I shouldn't have, but I didn't do that here. Okay. So I'll be doing my hardware on this one.
because this originally was just a practice page but then I decided you know what I should just still use this page to show you guys the techniques that I used of how I accomplished that so okay anyway let's blend this out blend this out here okay so look how nice the shading looks with that now I'm going to show you guys some shading down here is this dry enough let me just blow dry this real quick make sure that I got some good drawing on here just a second you guys you're going to hear the blow dryer Okay, so that's how that did the shading on that pink suitcase, which I think looks really, really nice. Okay, now I'm going to go down and I'm going to show you how I'm going to shade the, um, let me come out a little bit. Uh, wait, come down here. Yeah, I'll we'll leave right there. How I'm going to shade some of that purple suitcase. Okay, and let's, let me look at the time. Okay. Um, on this purple suitcase, I'm going to use, okay, remember I told you, this time I'm going to go ahead and use the two different shades. We got our lightest shade here, then we're going to go with our deepest shade, um, this is our um, highlight, our lightest color, and then I got our darkest tone and then our mid-tone, okay? So I didn't just use one pencil and use just the blender for this one. So, I'm going to come over here. Start throwing in my darkest shade of purple right around the border here. Okay, also, I'm going to come underneath this suitcase, when, especially when you're shading. Um, if it's underneath, like this is underneath this suitcase, it's also obviously going to be darker under here, right? So when anything's ever under something, definitely make that darker little corners like that need to be darker okay I'm just gonna go ahead and bring that all the way around okay. also going to bring this around here too. We'll have the light really focused in the center. Okay, so I came all the way around with that dark with the darkest color and this is a used as a Prismacolor violet. Make sure that I am still in the frame. Then I'm going to take um Prismacolor orchid and I'm going to go over what I just colored and come out. Okay? Go over what I just colored and come out from there. Okay. Okay, do the same thing here at the bottom. Come over and just go out a little bit. Now you want to leave that highlight in the middle. That's your lightest color. And that's going to be your highlight. And you want to keep that going in the middle. In a minute, I'm going to show you what we're going to do with the blender pencil here in just a second. Now, to blend all this together really, really well, I could take a pencil that's that color and blend everything together if you don't want to use a blender pencil um, and blend it all out. But I prefer to use a blender pencil. I think it turns out really nice and it's so much quicker and I think it actually turns out better. There will be people who would argue with me, but that's my opinion. Okay, so let's go ahead and start blending. So let's go over the purple here, the darkest purple, and then just come right on out and blend all that right out. Okay. 
Same thing here. And then blend it right out. There we go. And then blend it out. Same thing over here. And if, you're, if your blender pencil starts getting a little dirty, kind of over to the side, just clean it up a little bit. Blend it out. And your blender pencil you can get heavy with if you want to. And I am very heavy handed with my blender pencil. Because I want that color to blend right on out. Um, I got out of the lines a little bit over here. I'm trying to look for a quick eraser. And most um, colored pencils, you can um, erase. Oh, that's another thing I want to talk about the pencils. Okay, the Prismacolor pencils that I just used, um, let's just talk about both. The Jane Davenport pencils. Her colored pencils are very nice. I forgot what I bought these for, but you can get these at Michael's use a coupon. I think maybe 30, 40 bucks. I used it, and you can use a coupon, at least try to get it for half of that. Um, another thing I want to tell you about though is that the uh, Prismacolor pencils, um, you can get these at least here in Las Vegas. There is a Sam's at Sam's Club. You can buy a 36 pack of Prismacolor pencils there for 20 or 25 dollars. You guys, excellent deal. If you have a Sam's Club and they have that, check it out. That's what it looks like. Okay, and 36 pencils is a good amount of pencils. That'll, you can you can do anything with that, especially with a set of watercolor pencils, a set of watercolors, and Prismacolor and some um, good pencils that you can blend out. Fabulous. Okay, so I think this looks really really good. You can kind of see how I achieved that. Let me turn this around, so you can see that. See how the shading, how much the shading adds to that. Okay, let me look at my time situation. Okay. Let's let's go to the top. Okay, now what I want to show you is how I dripped. Oh no 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 I don't. I want to show you down here how I created the leather and the gold. How I created the leather and the gold on here. Okay, so we're gonna first do the gold. Uh, let me get my. I have all my brushes sitting out here. I just have to find them. All right, where the heck is my brush? I guess I'll use this one. I had a different brush. Just a second, guys. Sorry. Which I think might be better. Okay. For what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to use this palette, which is my um, neutral palette for the Jane Davenport. And I'm going to use, because I need like a goldy, yellowy color. I'm going to use that one. Okay. You guys, I love her paints too. Okay, so what I need to do is um, I'm gonna work on I'm gonna work on the um, hardware. The, I'm gonna make this gold hardware. Oh, that scared the hell out of me, you guys. My husband was going outside. I have the window open; it faces outside, and I seen some head. I was like, oh. And at the same time, we have. Um, like all type of like scary Halloween heads and stuff. Anyway, <laughs> if you guys could see what I saw, I almost screamed. <laughs> anyway, crazy. Um, oh, all this is gold hardware down here. I don't have any leather. The leather is up, up here, and I will do. I'll show you that too. So, this is all base color. A nice yellow okay because we need this to be gold but we're going to shade the heck out of that okay let me first get some drying on this
it's nice and dry. I'm going to get my... I'm going to um, come in a little closer so you guys can see. Just make sure we get nice and close. As close as we can get. Okay, that's pretty close right there. All right. So, what we're going to do now is we are going to do the gold here. So, I want to use uh, the sienna and I think this brown here. Yeah, not this darker brown. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have these two shades here. So, we have our darker shade and this shade. Which So, our darker shade is a Jane Davenport Bear. And then I'm using a um, terracotta or sienna brown. And I need a scrap piece of paper just to confirm that I've chosen the right colors. Just a second. No, I did not. Okay. I had a feeling. Okay. And this one. Yeah, these are the two I need. All right, I lied, guys. All these colors sometimes can look very similar, so I had to just test that out. It's always good to have a piece of paper beside you so you can uh, test it out. Maybe I'll do this one here in the middle down here because that'll probably be the best thing to do. Okay. All right, so we got our darker brown. So let's do this little brass piece here in the middle, okay? So we're going to put our darker color like this. I don't know why my camera is saying that it's low on battery. That is just ridiculous. Okay, and then so we put the darker there. Then we're going to take, and that darker color is, uh, is a Prismacolor Sienna. And then we're going to use a Terracotta color. And this is also a Prismacolor. And right out from that, we're going to put this... What did I say? Sienna? No. Terracotta color. I love terracotta. I use that a lot for darker skin tones. Love it. To do a lot of the shading. Okay. And then let's use our blender pencil and blend that out. Okay. Again, take the darker color. Take this color here, okay, blend all that out, okay, Okay, and then let's take the terracotta color, and we'll bring that out from that. And then a little bit darker color we'll just bring in right here. And then we'll terracotta that out here, just a little bit, right there, very little bit because we want that gold to stay at least in that middle part. And then let's start blending. Take a look at my thing. And then we're going to start blending all. We're just going to blend it all out. And then the same thing here. We're just going to make sure this is all blended. All right, we're going to use the darker color here, and then blend that out. Okay, and then we're going to take a 